So, hi, I'm Lucas Anderson, and I'm joined by uh, Warren Harper, and you've probably watched our videos on The Life in Chess or Meet the Candidates and all those other series that we've done over the past three years. And thanks to your views, we're, we're close to half a million views now on this channel. So that's really exciting, and I want to thank you for your, your patronage, and, and thank you for watching all those videos and help making this channel the success that it is. When Warren and I first started, we were a little skeptical that this would have an audience, but we did it just because we thought it would be interesting for our chess club and for ourselves. And then we've been really delighted by seeing the uh, responses on YouTube, although sometimes getting to all those comments has been a little difficult because you've been active in requesting lots of chess players. And that's great, and, and we do want you to keep that up. We do have quite a few lectures upcoming for you, quite a few planned over the next year at least. But we wanted to talk to you today about something that's really exciting. We're sitting here in Center 64, which is the chess club where we've been broadcasting from, and this is the first time we've ever done video. We wanted to introduce ourselves and tell you about um, an important, or at least interesting lecture we have upcoming, and we also wanted to tell you a little bit about our club. So Center 64 is Houston's only chess club, and it's been around for five years now? Uh -huh. About five years, we've been in the same location the whole time. Center 64 hosts a lot of tournaments, hosts um, several different lectures, sometimes weekly. Uh, Warren and I give a lecture here pretty much monthly. And the club gets by based on the community support. So membership at Center 64 is $10 a month. And you can uh, sign up to, be, to have your membership to be automatically renewed. And that gets you access to lectures like ours. It also gets you a discount on tournament registration. So it's a really useful service for our chess playing community here in Houston, but more importantly, that support allows this club to stay open and to keep offering programs like ours. So at our last lecture, which was on uh, Akiva, Akiva Rubenstein, <laughs> it was spelled Akiva, but it is pronounced like the German V, so Akiva Rubenstein. At that lecture, we had a suggestion from one of our participants here at Center 64. That participant suggested that Warren and I cover the history of blindfold chess. Now, he wanted us to cover that because he had actually played a blindfold simul with Koltanowski, who's one of the big names in chess history when we talk about simultaneous blindfold chess. And it sounded like a great idea. I got a book, I'm really excited about it. But while I was at Super Nationals with our chess team, I noticed that Timur Gureyev was there. And Timur Gureyev, if you happen to know, is the current world record holder for blind, blindfold simultaneous chess. In Las Vegas in December, he set the world record with 48 boards, winning the vast majority of those boards. So it's a very impressive performance. And so I got in touch with Timur and I said, hey, we're gonna do the history of blindfold chess. Would you be interested in participating? My thought was that would be really awesome to have Timur, Warren and I talk about not only the history of blindfold chess, but look at some blindfold games and to talk about how to play blindfold chess. And Timur actually came back with a counter proposal. He said, that sounds like a great idea, but how about we step it up a notch? How about we do a camp for visualization? And how about we try to break a world record? And I thought, well, that sounds cool. What do you have in mind? And Timur and Warren have actually played a bit before. Uh, Timur has been to Houston before. Warren and Timur have played at Starbucks and actually Warren and Timor played a, a blindfold game at Starbucks, and I think it was a draw, right? Yeah. So, um, so Timor knew Warren, and he knew uh, how strong of a player he was, and he said, what if Warren and I do a tandem blindfold simul? The world record for that is seven boards. We'd have to do an odd number of boards. So he said, what if we do a blindfold simul? Me and Warren team up, and we do nine boards, and we break a world record. I, saw, I thought, well, that sounds like a great idea, but... The most important part is asking Warren. So I asked Warren, Warren said yes, so that's what we're gonna try to do. And I'm actually curious what a blind, I know what a blindfold simul looks like, but a tandem blindfold simul, what did you and Timor have in mind? So in a uh, tandem blindfold simul, we're actually gonna alternate playing moves on all the boards. So uh, for instance, on board one, uh, Timor might play the first move and then I will play the second, he will play the third and so on, et cetera, et cetera. And We'll do that for all the boards. So on board one, if Timur plays the first move, on board two, I'll play the first move, and we'll alternate uh, like so. 
And we're also going to alternate colors as well. So we're not going to be uh, white on all the boards and also not going to be uh, black on all the boards. And Timor actually suggested that we use clocks for this simul, which I wasn't familiar with. I've, Warren's actually done a blindfold simul before, a five board blindfold simul against some of the best, best players at the school where we both teach. And uh, Warren won all those games quite handily. But this is that simul, basically, I went around to each of the boards and I would call out board one and then the move, board two, then the move. So Warren was able to sequentially follow those. But this is a clock simul, so it's going to be a little different format. Um, how, what's that going to look like? So uh, typically, if any of you have, have played in a simul against like a grandmaster, one of these tournaments, uh, the way it works is when you know, the, the Grandmaster gets to your board, you have to play your move, right? Occasionally you may get some passes or something like that, but with the clock simul, it, it works much different. It's much more similar to an actual tournament game. So uh, when you're ready to play your move, uh, in this case, uh, you're gonna have to call the, the Arbiter over because uh, in, in a regular board simul, you could just play your move because the Master can actually see it, right? But in this case, <laughs> you know, we, we can't tell where you moved from the click of the clock, right? So the, the arbiter is going to have to come over when you're ready to play your move. And, you know, when, when you play it and hit your clock, he'll announce it to us so that we, you know, know what you played. So uh, the clock simul gives uh, the participants uh, more, more freedom to think about their moves a little bit more. Uh, that, that's one of the issues in regular simuls that, that make, makes it difficult to play against the master is that uh, you have to play when they uh, get to the board, right? So it makes it gives you more time, but it also gives us more time too. Uh, so we're going to have uh, more time than the, than the participants. You know, it is we are playing multiple opponents without seeing the board, so kind of need more time. Uh, so we're also going to have some flexibility too to think about our moves. Right, but as Warren says, that makes it easier for the participants, but harder for them. And because, you know, it could be that they play three moves in a row on board two and then have to jump to board seven, then have to jump back to board two, then board one, it's going to go all over the place. So keeping it, keeping those positions in mind, particularly when you're alternating moves every time, is going to be very difficult. So that's going to be on Sunday, June the 25th. That's when we're going to have that blindfold simul here at Center 64. So we're going to start the morning. Uh, 9 a.m. with a camp with Timur Gureyev, who's a grandmaster and the world's most accomplished blindfold chess player, at least simultaneous blindfold chess player. We are going to follow that up with lunch with uh, Timur and Warren. And then at 12.45, I'm going to do a lecture on the history of blindfold chess and give you some context on that. And then after that, around 1.30 or so, we're going to start the blindfold simul. That's probably going to go until about 6 o'clock in the evening. Now, we already have announced this on Center 64's website and through Center 64's mailing list. So we've already filled up most of the simul spots and half of the camp spots, but there's still a few spots to sign up. So I'm going to put some details on how to sign up at the bottom of this video and then in the comment in case you'd like to contact me and register for that simul. And in addition, I'm going to put a link down below to see if you might want to donate to support this. Now, Warren and I have done these videos for the past three years. We've never monetized any of the content. We've never put in ads. We've never asked for donations. We don't do Patreon. We haven't done any of that. Warren, as I've mentioned, is a professional computer scientist and I am a school librarian. And so this is just a passion and a hobby for us. And we kind of do it just because we enjoy it. We don't have too many expenses for that. We get to do, present for free at the club and you know, I have to buy some books every now and then, but I enjoy that. That's kind of a labor of love. But for this, we're bringing in Timur Gureyev. He has some travel expenses, and obviously we want, to, we want to compensate him for his time. And so we're hoping to recoup that cost, and we're hoping to actually make a little extra to donate to Center 64 for making this event possible and for allowing us to hold these lectures here for all this time. So I'm going to put a link below. If you could donate $2 or $5 in appreciation for the past content that we have done, I would certainly appreciate that. Alternately, if you would like to donate some money to enhance our coverage of this event. Now, Warren mentioned an arbiter. I'm going to be working as the arbiter for this event. So as the moves are made, I'm going to call them out to the participants. I would like to get someone to stream the games live 
you know, I we know some people here in the chess community in Houston, some national masters, an international master. Maybe we can convince one of them to cover the games and give you live commentary. Maybe we could uh, put up all the boards in Lee Chess and allow you to follow along live, kind of like Chess 24's coverage or, or, or um, the U.S. Chess Federation's coverage, although not quite as good because we don't have those same production capabilities. We'd like to do that, but we would need your support to do that. So if we could get you know, a couple hundred dollars in donations, then we could certainly make that happen. We could stream through either YouTube or Twitch so that you could actually follow us at home. So if you're in the Houston area or could travel to the Houston area and are interested in the camp on June 25th, contact me ASAP because seating is limited and going quickly. Alternately, if you'd like to watch online, follow the channel for details on that and we'll get you some information on how you can do that. Completely optional, and if you'd like to donate, we'd certainly appreciate your participation in that. Anything else you'd like to tell our uh, our fans? It's kind of <laughs> weird to think that we have fans, but um, nothing more to add. No, the support has been overwhelming. You know, we've been contacted from Greece and from uh, Turkey and from Russia and all over the world, and we had no idea when we started this that we would have supporters outside the confines of just this room and our local chess community. So we're certainly thrilled about that. And we hope we can keep bringing you content that's gonna get you excited month after month. So again, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested in participating in this camp or, stream, or watching the stream when we put it online, look in the comments and look down below. I'll put a little button in for more details. <laughs>